five, we made these little wine tags. Maybe you wanna get a little crazy and dress up your table right by creating some fun and festive placemat. So I've already gone with these bright colors. Now I'm thinking, what could I do to dress up the table? So what are we gonna do? We are gonna make something else that's fun and fabulous. I'm gonna set my timer again here. Um, we are gonna make something else that's fun and fabulous. We're gonna do kind of a cool, fast and easy placemat, right? And I'm gonna do four of them in five minutes. Woo! The big challenge is on. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. I wanna stick with something bright. I'm just gonna go right over here and I can already see what I'm gonna to wanna to work with is this bright yellow chevron. Do I, do I have four though? One, two, oh, three, I do, I have four. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this bright yellow chevron paper and then I'm just gonna do something super simple with it. I'm gonna take my corner rounder scissors Right, and I am going to just round the corners of it, of each of these papers. Oh, did I hit my start button? No, okay, so whatever, you gotta add 30 seconds. I'm hitting start now. Okay, so I'm just gonna round the corners of each one of these. Right, I think that these corner rounder scissors are like my favorite, I wonder if I can cut multiple sheets. Oh, that's a risk, right? Let me see if I can do two. Oh yeah, I can do too. Okay, so now I have my base. Oops, I didn't do a very good job on that. I'm gonna start with this. And then I think I'm gonna add something bright to make like a little coaster attached to this, right? So I have clear glass plates. And the beauty of clear glass plates, let me choose another bright color here. Let's see what I've got for lime green. Oh yeah, there's some green. All right, so I'm gonna grab a sheet of green paper here. Ooh, looks like my last one. And I'm just gonna cut that into six by six squares. Super simple, right? Don't even really need my glasses for that. Get that to the six. I have my glasses though, ladies. I shouldn't say ladies. There could be some guys out there learning how to be fabulous in five. Okay, I've got my four squares there. What am I gonna do with these? I'm gonna round those corners also, right? Just a nice little finish. Didn't do a very good job on that one. This doesn't like, there we go. Cardstock is not as happy with the corner rounders. Now, you know what else? I haven't actually hauled out a bunch of extra stuff to, cl to clean up here. I've just got some corner scraps. That's gonna make it even easier to get everything cleaned up. I'm not liking the way I'm, there we go. All right, I'm corner rounder challenged. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this green square and I'm gonna glue it to the corner and then I'm gonna have a placemat and a coaster, right? Get some adhesive here. Now, if you don't wanna glue this down, maybe you're thinking, I'm gonna insist that my dinner guests are neat. Right, I'm gonna insist that my dinner guests are neat and um, I guess I need to do all four to meet my five minute challenge, right? Um, and then I'm gonna reuse these, which you could. My dinner guests are not that neat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm assuming that my cardstock and paper here, this is their use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is another thing, right? We tend to be paper hoarders in this industry, in this hobby. 
So this is a great way to just use some of your supplies. And I want you to just think about these people coming to dinner. When they sit down at the table, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're going to see, they're going to have this placemat. And they're going to have their little wine tag with the placemat. Look at that. Super simple, really bright and colorful. And I'm going to use a square plate. So my place setting now is just adorable and bright and cheery. Oop, 414. Even if you had 30 seconds for when I was messing around, I'm still under five minutes. And I've got four placemats that are super cool, bright and cheery. You could use a square plate or you can use a round plate and you're good to go. Now, this was quick and easy. It looks great. It's very festive. But you can do all kinds of things in another minute or two. You could take a big marker and write underneath the plate on the placemat, eat, drink, be merry, people's names. If it's somebody's birthday or you're saying congratulations, you can use that on the same kind of idea. But really simple, get a coaster, get a placemat, and you are good to go with a really cute table setting. Thanks so much for watching Fabulous in Five. It's our goal to provide you with a way to be creative in five minutes of your busy, busy day. If you're somebody that has a great idea, something that you can do that's fabulous in five minutes, I hope you'll take a few minutes and share that with us. Email your idea to us, customer service at totally-tiffany, and put fabulous in five in the subject line. We would love to share your ideas with our other creative, crafty readers. Thanks again. Have a great day.